Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Sickle Bros. In today's video, we're going to show and discuss the growth rate of our Geophagus Tapajos. We've done similar videos on the Green Terror and the Severum before, and we'll leave that in the description below. In the comments section of those videos, a lot of people asked to do one on the Geophagus Tapajos, so that's what we're going to do today. Before we do that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate your support, and guys, let's dive right in. In my 180 gallon aquarium, I have seven Geophagus Tapos. They're one of my favorite all-time cichlids due to their awesome color and behaviors. They get a deep red head as they grow with light blue and red in their fins. They get awesome trailers to their fins, which mine are just starting to get. Geophagus constantly sift through sand looking for leftover food. And I would really recommend sand as their substrate so that they have a very natural environment. Some geophagus and similar species can get very large, like the geophagus altifrons or the Satana pericature pari here, but tapajos stay on the smaller end for geos, topping out around six inches, maybe up to seven. Due to this max size being somewhat smaller, they sometimes do have slow growth, or at least some people may think that. My group of seven tapos here have grown really well, and I've had them right around two years now. They currently have awesome red color on their heads and green and blues in their bodies with blue and reds in their tails. Whenever I have company over, people always ask about these guys because they really stand out in a tank. I actually ordered these guys online from Aquabid about two years ago and they were tiny, barely an inch long with no color, they're basically tan and brown, they didn't have any color at all. Although they were so tiny and had zero color, it was still cool to see these little guys sifting through sand at such an early age. So these guys started off in the 38 gallon aquarium as sort of a grow out tank, and they definitely got upgraded tanks down the line, similar to how my video quality definitely upgraded. I would say in that first two to three months, they put on maybe a half an inch with a little more weight in their body, but overall the growth wasn't very fast at this point. They were very active and eating really well, so even without the color or the size, they were still a great fish to be keeping. And then they were in this tank with Jerry, the Jirupari, who was definitely growing at a faster rate just because their overall max size is a little more than the Geotapos. And then after that, they put on maybe another half inch after two more months and started to get a little more dark coloration in their body with some of the black stripes and maybe even a little bit of red on the tips of their fins. But as you can see, they all look really healthy, and this was right before they went into the 75 gallon aquarium. So about a month after that, and roughly six months since I picked up these guys, they went into the 75 gallon aquarium. I feel like they instantly had a growth spurt once they went into the larger tank. And they went from about a half inch every three months to maybe a half inch every one and a half to two months. In December, about 13 months ago, I would say that they were about three to three and a half inches and they were just starting to get some color. But roughly a year ago in January was when they first started showing a lot of color in their fins with some teal and red, and then a very small hint of red coming in on their heads. And about 10 months ago, each of the seven geos seemed to have some red in their heads, but it just wasn't that vivid red that I was hoping for yet. But they each had some good color in their tails, especially, and in their fins. So they did have some color, it just wasn't quite there yet. They were about three and a half inches long at this point, so over the course of that first year, they grew about two and a half to three inches each. So the most dramatic change was June of this year, about seven months ago. I had had these geos for about a year and two months and they all started popping with that red head coloration and it only got better since that point. It's also worth noting that there was definitely an alpha in the group and he was the biggest right here front and center with the fin extension starting to come in before the rest of the geos. And then there were a couple other males that had the red coloration first, but pretty much both the males and the females get that red coloration. So about six months ago in July, these Geophagus Tapos made their way into the brand new 180 gallon aquarium. And at this point, I feel like they hit another growth spurt. 
They were around four to four and a half inches, and they all just had awesome color, both in their red heads and in their fins. And then they also started to get some of that green, blue, and emerald coloration coming in within their bodies. The weight was definitely worth it as you see these guys with just awesome color, behavior, they're not too aggressive to each other, and it's just an awesome fish to keep and I can't recommend it enough. In October, about three months ago, nothing had really changed as far as color, but they did grow to about five inches each with the alpha maybe being five and a half inches. And then about one month ago, this group of seven is still doing really well. A lot of color. I think the biggest change here is that you can see in their body, they have a lot of blue and green speckles coming in and they're almost shiny and they stand out even more than they did before. Currently, these guys are doing really well and are really fun to watch. They do great in a small group like this and now they are about five to even six inches long now. They are just starting to get the trailers to the fins with the alpha of the group having the most extension so far. In general, I believe fast growth is dependent on water quality, tank size, tank mates, and diet. We did a full video on that, which I'll put in the upper right hand corner. But a group of topos like this probably needs a 75 gallon tank to see their maximum growth. A pair could probably be okay in a 40 or 55 gallon, but as always, the larger the tank, the better for the growth and health of the fish. I'd recommend the more peaceful South American cichlids like Severums or Electric Blue Acaras as the top hose tank mates, as they typically won't fight or bully the top hose. My top hose have eaten almost anything I've fed over the years, including flakes, pellets, and frozen foods. My current schedule is high quality pellets from Extreme and then frozen brine shrimp or blood worms as a treat about once per week. It's been really fun watching these guys grow up and with almost any Geophaga species, it's definitely worth the wait once these guys color up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the growth rate and evolution of the Geophagus topos here. If you'd like to see us do a similar video on any other cichlid or fish that we currently keep, leave that comment down below. We might just take that suggestion. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.